The evidence that turned the Victoria Martin's murder investigation upside down was in the spotlight today, two years after the 10 year old's death in 2016. The DA announced that cell phone evidence revealed the girl's mother, Michelle Martins, and her boyfriend, Fabian Gonzalez, were not at home the evening of the murder. That resulted in murder charges against them being dropped. However, today in court, the prosecution still tried to use cell phone data to prove that Gonzalez was an extreme danger to Victoria by bringing his felon family member, Jessica Kelly, and meth fueled lifestyle into their previously quiet home. News 13's Brittany Bade resumes our trial coverage. Commander, this technology that we've gone through today basically proved that Michelle and Fabian were half an hour away when Victoria was murdered. Is that correct? Yes. The evening in August 2016, when Victoria Martins was murdered, her mom, Michelle, and her new boyfriend, Fabian Gonzalez, were making stops all around Albuquerque. There was no question about Victoria's living during that time? Definitely not. APD Deputy Commander Kyle Hartsock read text messages between Gonzalez and Michelle leading up to the murder, hoping to prove he took over the Martins' lives fast. By taking Michelle's car out with his cousin Jessica Kelly, which Michelle seems opposed to. And it says, guys, I need my car back here. Inviting Michelle to do drugs with him. The first one says, hey, babe, you should do a line with us. Fabian then sends another message 15 seconds later saying, after you eat. Michelle Martin replies about three minutes later at 12.36 a.m., nope. Gonzalez even asks to take money from Victoria. And it says, wanted if you think I can use that 10 of Victoria's so I can get a haircut. Cell phone data also shows Jessica Kelly was alone with Victoria the evening of her murder. A former neighbor testified she saw Kelly struggling to carry Victoria's body down the exterior stairs. My exact words were she looks drugged or, you know, not alive. Ramirez Rivera testified Kelly gave up carrying Victoria's body back into the apartment. She then testified around 1 a.m. she heard Gonzalez and Kelly arguing on the balcony. She said, well, what are we going to do? Um, he said, come inside. The defense refuting that testimony, arguing Gonzalez did not know Victoria was dead or help Kelly dismember her body, saying Facebook messages he sent to multiple women late that night prove it was just a normal night for Gonzalez. Saying, what's up, sexy, like your profile? You're mine, no one else's. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. Jessica Kelly maintains an unknown man walked into the apartment and strangled Victoria. The state is seeking to convict Gonzalez of reckless child abuse resulting in death and trying to hide the body. He's facing up to life in prison.